what's good for them. Faith there for me here in Bali and still going strong. The temperature is nice. And hey, I can't complain about anything. All right, today I planned something. I plan to go to all the way north today to Ubud. I'm going to a temple called Monkey Forest. I'm not sure if you heard about it, but I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. You know, um, that there are a lot, you know, there are monkeys who are taking sort of selfies with um, the foreigners. So I'm looking to go and, and experience it myself. So hopefully you come with me and see what really goes on. And plus they have a huge, old, you know, big temple. I'm looking to see that as well. Check it from Google Maps. It says about one hour to one hour, 15 minutes. So I'm looking forward to have a great bike ride. The temperature is good, so we should be fine. My ride is ready. See you in a bit. Ah. Oh, by the way, before I go, somebody asked how do I somebody asked how do I increase my bicep peak? Easy work, you know. What you wanna do is take a preacher curl, preacher curl, dumbbell or barbell, that's really matter. Stay away from cables or ropes, okay? It, they are not as effective as the preacher, a barbell or dumbbells. You ready for me? Let's go. I cannot believe this. Halfway to the temple, the rain started pouring on me. Luckily, I was able to find a shelter where I waited for the rain to stop. With me, one local decided to stop too, but the rest were just writhing in the rain. After waiting for 45 minutes for the rain to stop, I was finally able to get back on the road. Guess what fam, we have made it. So now I'm gonna look where I'm going to get started. Oh, here, I see a monkey I'm over there. Right there. Wow, the hammer destroyed my hair. Oh, look at me missing the entrance. It says for monkey forest entrance right here. Finally, we paid for the ticket and now I'm about to get in. It did cost me um, 80 rupiah, 80, no, 80,000 rupiah, which is 5 euro. Mm -hmm. This one. Look at that, thank you. So let's see what we're gonna find here. Very beautiful. Hello, brother. Hello, I'm good. How are you? So, you speak French? No. MP. MP Francais. You very France? Oui. Okay. okay. <laughs> Trying to create content for my you know, YouTube channel. Okay. So that's why I'm here and you know, finding things out about you know, uh, the forest, monkey forest. Chango? Ah, ah, Chango? No, no, no. Chango is not quiet. No, it's not quiet. <laughs> Abu, okay. No, Ch Chango is okay. Yeah. Superficial and sometimes you... Yeah. There's a mix of people. But you've been here for some time now? No, just 10 days. Just 10 days now? Yeah. Are you longer than me? I've been here for like... Today's my, today my fifth day. So, um, where else have you been? Take it along. Take it out, yeah. Take it along the rest of it. Don't look the monkey in the eyes. So let's see what's um what's up here. I think I'm I think I'm gonna get myself a physique picture down there. There you go, right there. There. 
beautiful forest. We are sweating so much, I feel like I need to take off my top. Oh, it looks like we're ready to scare off some monkeys. No, just kidding. We animal lovers. We're going to continue protecting the good animals because they don't hurt anybody. They just want to live their life just like we are. I remember in 2019 when I went to Nigeria um, at the longest canopy of the world and I met monkeys there, man, and those monkeys were like vicious. <laughs> they were like bosses, man. And this one's kind of not timid, but it looks like they, uh, they don't really care about people for some reason. Yet in Nigeria, oh, those ones in Nigeria, they were bosses, man. Bosses, let me tell you that. So I'm going back there this year, so I should be able to, um, I should have find some time to go and check them out again. So I'm gonna vlog that one as well since last time I failed to, draw, to vlog about it. But this time I will. December, I'm heading to, I'm heading to Nigeria. I'm going to have my turn very soon too. Hopefully after them. I'm not sure how much it costs, but um, it shouldn't be that expensive. How much? How much? 50,000. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Look at So my surface is finished. I had an opportunity to have a monkey take <laughs> a selfie with me. The picture look amazing. And I paid 50,000 rupees for that, which is just over three euro. So I think it's reasonable. That's mine. <laughs> Even though the forest looks pretty big, but uh, I was able to um, walk it all the way through in, what, 30 minutes? I think the reason is because some of the, um, the areas are closed. I'm not sure why. Look at this sitting here. It's a chilly. What are you doing here? <laughs> Well, 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 we are heading towards the exit. I'm almost there and I don't know if I have to rate it or not. Um, I felt like it was too short, even though the forest is very big. It looks it's very big, but for some reason I felt like it could have been more, like more. Maybe I'm a little bit, you know, adventurous on that regard, but I like more, something more. The monkey are not aggressive enough for me. <laughs> a little more rebellious. I expected more rebellious monkeys, to be honest. So I think probably should create another area where you can have more fun. You know, not necessarily with the monkeys, but with just something else. Something else that makes it more adventurous. That's me. That, that's me. Um, I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go out and... I uh, met one of my friends that, that I recently met in uh, Changu and he lives here in Ubud. He told me he's in front of the, um, in front of the entrance. So I'm going to go there and see if we can, you know, maybe catch, a, catch some food somewhere. It's amazing. 
Once I met Jero, I wanted to know what he does for a living since he has been living in Bali for the past seven years. It turns out he's the owner of Bali Physiotherapy in Ubud. I asked him if I could look around his space where he operates and I must say it um, looks very very clean and very very professional. All the paintings you see was painted by his father-in-law. Here he does all the type of massage you can think of, from the famous shiatsu massage, deep tissue, neck, back, pretty much everything from head to toe if needed from the client request. And his prices are very reasonable too. In case you are in Ubud and you are looking to relax and release some tension, Jared will be happy to welcome you in his practice office. I will leave his info below in case someone is looking for such service. After a look at his office space, we finally had the opportunity to go eat at this particular restaurant called Tattoo. I ordered orange juice as usual and he ordered this particular local beer called Bitang. For my meal, I kept it very simple. I ordered beef, rice and veggie. He didn't order anything because he didn't have no appetite, he said. For that meal, I paid 200,000 rupiah, which is around 13 euro. It started to get late, so I decided to make my way back to Changgu. Hopefully it won't rain on me this time on my way back. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Please do me a favor, subscribe. Welcome to the family. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so then you get notified every time I post a new video. As usual, see you next time. Easy work.